This is where we left in a previous video by leaving a review and display all the reviews. In this video, I want to add the author of the review, the person who created the author. But unfortunately, you can see that when you fetch the product inside the review, you don't have the actual user. But instead, we have the ID of the user and that is what we use, which is this. So we need to convert this one back to the normal object to have the user. So at this point, we need to get back to the API that's a back end to implement this. So let's get back to the API. And this is what we've done in the API development. So let's get back to controllers and product. And let's locate this controller as get single product over here. We are populating the reviews. So we are going to do what is called nested population. So we bring in the object and provide the path. The path is called reviews. For this one, we have explained them intensively under the API development. Then we bring in populate. And what do you want to populate? We want to populate a path. The path is called the user, which represents the one we saw in the dev2, which is this. And we can select the first name or the full name. So let's select the is it full name or first name. Let's see. Before that, let's try to fetch and let's see the actual property. So now you're going to have that. So let's refresh this and that action will be dispatched and it has been dispatched. Let's look inside the payload product reviews and inside you can see that we have the actual user. Let's use the full name. Let's select the full name only. So here select the full name so now let's see let's refresh it where we have an error so we have what is called mongo connection error meaning our server let's restart it all right connected so let's refresh the page and let's check inside the action payload product and reviews and we have the full name yeah over here so we can now display that it's going to be user dot full name so let's get back to the product details component and this is what i'm referring to so it's going to be user dot full name now let's see and we have admin here what about the date the created at so here we are going to use created at and we have it down here but we can see that this date is not all that readable so let's try to format it so I'm going to cut this one and we are going to use to local date string. Before that, unless we create instance of date and we pass in our date, then on that we have what is called to local date string. Save it and let's have a look and we have perfect date. All right, guys, let's continue in the next video.